So for years, I, I've been told, you know, Joe, if you only maintain focus, just focus on one thing, what you could achieve, Joe, what you could achieve. And, and it would bother me, you know, because I was a guy who uh, I understood how I was wired and I understood that I could get a lot done. But if I focused on only one thing, I knew a, a few things about that. I'm going to get bored, number one. And number two, I'm never going to be able to accomplish that which I was supposed to accomplish. You see... I think there's a fallacy statement. And the fallacy statement is this, everything in balance, everything in balance. So you take your entire life and you make sure it's all in balance. Well, listen, this is just me saying this, but I don't agree with that. You see, I believe you've been given strengths, you've been given passions, you've been given weaknesses. And you know, when you recognize that if you kept everything even keel, you're going to be focusing the same on your weakness as you are on your strength. You're going to be focusing same on your weakness as you are on your passion. And I think that's wrong. I believe God gave us these strengths and these passions to ignite the purpose that's within us. And unless we focus more on the imbalance, we will never achieve that which we were set to achieve. Now, again, Balance in family, balance in work, all those things are, those are good things. But when, I, when we're actually engaged in what we're supposed to be doing, I believe we need to focus on our strength zone, focus on our passions, because that's where I believe the place of purpose comes into play. Because, listen, if you look in history, nothing great was ever done out of mediocrity. Nothing great. I mean, maybe you'll get that 1%, but for the most part, we need to be intentional and we need to focus on that which we were gifted to operate in, our strengths and our passions. Understanding that they all come under the covering of God because they've been given to us by him so that we can live out that great purpose that only he provides to us and only we can do it with him because it's too big for us. So balance, okay. Balance beam, good thing. Balance family, balance work, all that good thing. But once you're involved in that what you're called to do, there needs to be imbalance. My name is Joe Pellegrino, and this has been a Legacy Minute. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you were blessed by the material. We also want to remind you that there are several great ways to make sure you're staying up to date on our content as part of our 360 Legacy Plan. First, subscribe to this channel by clicking subscribe below. You can also download our incredible new app in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Just search Legacy Minded Men. And finally, visit our website at LegacyMindedMen.org for more information on what we believe, upcoming events, and how to join a group. Thanks again for watching.